Stop worrying. I'm sure they'll find the cause soon. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Look, even if Catherine is cheating, you've got no right to suspect her. I don't suspect her. Just so you know, you've got the all-time record for smallest heart. Oh. You're not looking hard enough, man. He's a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Oh. Hey. It's you. Interesting. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I like how my drink follows me wherever I go. Catherine, he mentioned wasn't her. What's going on here? What is going on here? Can she actually be cheating on me? Can honestly say there's no possibility. I know this is so, but here's some trivia for you. As you seem to have finished your glass. It's said that chugging alcohol isn't good for you, but sometimes it's necessary. The cocktail Nikolashka is an example of this. It uses cognac, lemon, coffee, and sugar. But first, you put the lemon, coffee, and sugar in your mouth. Then you take a big swig of cognac. Of course, you can't even talk until you drink it all. It's necessary to chug it. But cognac contains 40% alcohol, so those with low tolerances should not attempt this. And that was the cocktail. That's interesting. Like an odd way to drink alcohol. What would you like now? I should get whiskey. Whiskey. Coming right. Glug 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 glug. Covering up my own infidelity. That's one thing you gotta make sure you do is actually drink at the bar because the more bottles you get filled up, the more fast you're gonna be able to move in when you're actually in the nightmare area. Thinking about it, I heard a strange rumor here. Nah. Oof. I ask you to find out cool little facts about the alcohol. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass, gasoline is liquid, which is volatile and highly flammable. So it's just like alcohol, isn't it? No. Gasoline is fuel for automobiles. So would they run on alcohol? Actually, in a race in South Africa, there was a car that ran close to 200 miles on whiskey. <laughs> it seems like such a waste to run a car on delicious whiskey. And that was the trivia for tonight. Well, that's interesting. Apparently you can run cars on whiskey. Are you all right? I can still drink. I'm I'm still good. Let's have some sake. sake. Coming right up. Your back looks awful weary. What, you can see my back from there? I was making a crack of a monkey on your back. Uh, forget it. See, my girlfriend might be cheating on me. Oh my. Oh you're cheating my. yourself. And yet you're this concerned about your lover's fidelity. I want to believe, but it's just... I'm insecure. All the mistakes of the woman are the fault of the man. To cop a phrase from a certain someone. No, wait. That's not really much consolation, is it? <laughs> well, drink and forget. Not knowing something is as if it never occurred. Ooh, a text message. Who wants to talk to me now? Oh, I want to be with you, Vincent. That's all. But you say these things that don't make any sense to me. It worries me. Do you think I'm... I'm the bad guy here? Hmm. Of course not, baby. Seen you thirty times this week. Nah. No. Nah. Sweet. Alright. What do you want? Daniel, don't be like that. You're awful kind of Vincent. Why don't you hook up with him? I can't be with you, right? So every 
Yeah, it's no use being with a man who will just become somebody else's. Uh, hey, hey, guys. <sighs> if you're going to get hurt, then why did you bring this up? Do you have any idea how I feel when I buy my clothes? I have to save everything I make just to buy handbags and clothes that won't embarrass you when we're seen together. I studied economics and etiquette every day just so I wouldn't embarrass you at an important dinner. But it's all pointless, because no matter how much I better myself, it'll never be good enough for some people. Anna. It was inevitable that we break up from the beginning. <sighs> I'm sorry I never let you give me any presents. I had to do something to keep my dignity. <laughs> um, is that what you really want? <sighs> this isn't about what we want or don't want. Alrighty then. Uh, this kind of sounds like a screwed up relationship. <laughs> got a confession to make. I'm really only an ex-journalist. Oh, so you quit? I still do research, but I've stopped the whole writing part. Okay, but why? Long ago, I covered a story on a young girl, a ballerina, very talented. Lots of people were sure she'd make it big. I wrote an article about her because her story touched me. She was poor and had to take several part-time jobs while studying ballet. The article was a hit. And her popularity soared. It's the truth. Wow, it's really something. But at the same time, she suddenly had a lot of enemies. They must have been rivals, jealous of her newfound fame. After all the harassment. What? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I can tell you anymore. Please forget it. Go easy on the booze, okay? <laughs> Excuse me. Talk for yourself, you Vincent. Let's see, what's this? Oh. This music appears in the interest. Isn't it Vincent's value is always being tested? Its state of mind can change the outcome of the plot. The inner monologue he hears when a pitch. Mm. Mm -hmm. Catherine, he mentioned wasn't her? What's going on here? Be cheating on me? I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake. Japanese sake uses many different words and brand names, but the most commonly used is Masamune. Why has Masamune been such a common name since olden time? Masamune could be a person's name, but the origin actually does not come from a person. An old sake maker found a phrase, Rinzai Seishu. Though spelled differently, Seishu can also mean sake, but the character for Seishu is also read Masamune. And the term stuck. Wait, all this history for a lousy pun? And that was the trivia for tonight. <laughs> That's definitely interesting. Empty? Are you alright? I'm fine. Right up. My alcohol tolerance is so high that I can't afford to get drunk anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you kind of bad. Excuse me. Hey, look, Mr. Popo's here. What are you drinking? Hey. I... Did you know Todd? He was, yeah, the, the department manager. Did you know that he died? In the same mysterious, shriveled up way that all those other men have died. That's not creepy. This morning? He had a potty mouth. He was a playboy. But he was good at looking after people. He was a fine man. Yeah. Do you believe in the afterlife? Ah. Well? Oh, really? If there is an afterlife, that means that death isn't the end of everything. But I want there to be an end. I'm only living now because I have something I need to do. What's that? To find the criminal who shot my wife. And kill him with my own hands. My wife is dead, so he'll die. And then I'll die. That's when everything will finally disappear. Are you thinking of dying? Well, I'm certainly not good at living. Sorry, but I'm going home. Bye. Well, you're a total kill buzz right there. Alright, let's see. If 
I've already pretty much talked to everybody, so I guess I might as well go home and start on my nightmares. Wait, wrong way. Vincent, you're too damn drunk. You're going home? Be okay. no. Don't you think that everyone's acting, I don't know, strange lately? I'm getting worried. You worried about those rumors? You shouldn't get yourself so worked up. I don't believe in any of that. Again, drunk at his desk. You know Catherine, right? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Honestly, man. Huh, I have those boxers. Always. Always meeting new people. Huh, that's the way he likes poking out of boxers. He has like multiple pairs of them. Okay, what kind of messed up crap am I gonna dream this time? what I need. Exploding blocks. <laughs> Where am I this time? There's still more? Sweet. Now I got the spiky ones too. Music to use in here. Edge. Okay. Edge. Oh, what the heck? Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, wait, I still do have ice balls. Crap. Arrows went sweet. I finally rid of those. I remember them. Well, actually, that kind of came in handy because I killed a freaking big dude. Fast those friggin' spike blocks. Your snails will get you. Okay. About there. Oh man, I got 
this friggin' dude. He's a following me. I guess I don't have him following me now, so that'll help with Tad. Oh crap, what did I activate that one? Damn, I'm actually close to. This one else. So we use this as a bridge. Actually, no, I don't think that's gonna work. Here, push that this way. Hmm, how should I do this? It's not the way I was planning on, but okay, that kind of works. Sort of, ish, kind of. Let's see if we can go back a little bit here. works. Right, I got it.
Let's go ahead and save real fast. 